Like many of you, I've, I've watched these ceremonies on TV, and uh, some of these speeches have been very good, some of them have been bad, uh, some of them have been moving and inspirational, and some of them have just laid there. Some have been funny and witty, some political, and others rather inane. And didn't you love it when Terry Bradshaw stood up here and pretended to get under center? He wanted one more chance. And what about the time Earl Campbell stood here and said, quoting Willie Nelson, who'll buy my memories? Well, like you, Earl, and like you, Terry, my memories are not for sale. But I wouldn't mind having a shot at some of that money the owners are throwing around. In a career that spanned 15 years, I've had thousands of teammates and hundreds of coaches, and I appreciate all of them. All of their help and tolerance, all of their support and guidance. And I've always prided myself on being an honest person. <clears throat> Perhaps sometimes too honest, but honest nonetheless. My teammates and my opponents will tell you they know and they knew exactly where I stood on just about every matter. Whether it was a crucial third and long and fourth down, or a discussing a referee's mark, or sitting around debating the Players Association, or who was going to buy the next round of beers, my teammates always knew exactly where I stood. I always made my honest feelings know, known. So it is with that in mind that I stand before you today on the steps of the Hall of Fame and tell you that without a doubt, I'm the luckiest man in the world. <clears throat> And lucky for many reasons. Lucky to have had a family that supported me through the good times and the bad. A mother and father who when I went to them when I was 11 years old and asked permission to play football, they both told me I had to play quarterback or I couldn't play at all. Now coach, that should tell you the shape of my body when I was 11. I was lucky to have brothers Bob and John to play catch with sisters Patty and Nancy to talk to. Their love and caring saw me through. Their and their family's 100% attendance today illustrates just how special the Fouts family is. You know, I've been lucky to play, I've played my entire career in one city, San Diego, 15 years, same team, and I played with the greatest quarterback that ever played the game, Johnny Unitas. And I know Johnny Yu is watching this somewhere today. I just want to say hi, John. Quit shaking your head. I am really here. Because <laughs> I know John Unitas. And Dan Fouts is no John Unitas. I am so proud to join these men over here with these men behind me in this, the Hall of Fame. Can you imagine a better class to go in with? Bill Walsh, Chuck Knoll, Larry Little and Walter Payton. I told you I was lucky. I'm also the happiest man in the world right now because it's been said that a pro football career is similar to a roller coaster ride. I've gone from a pro prospect to a third round selection to a rookie quarterback to a fledgling quarterback to a struggling quarterback, to a promising signal caller, to all pro, almost, to all pro, to player of the year, to potential Hall of Famer, to aging superstar, <laughs> to ex-quarterback, to certain Hall of Famer, to elected in the first year of eligibility, this gold jacket, these steps, this Hall of Fame, and as a roller coaster ride, it too has been thrilling. Thank you very much.